of you has a tattoo? And how many of you got this to feel special? A few years back, I wanted to feel special and put on a more tough and mysterious look, so I went out and did something non-traditional. I decorated 16% of my body with ink, and colorful butterflies and garlands of orchids now swings up my back. For 16 hours, I sat under the needle and thought about just how special I would be. Only to now learn that I'm amongst the 500,000 Danes having done the same credits to Statistics of Denmark. And leaving out infants and old ladies, looking at the age group between 18 to 50, 43% has a tattoo. 43%. So much for me exploring non-traditional methods. I'm Heidi Larsen representing JCI Denmark, and under the title, In Order to Make an Impact, Young People Must Explore Non-Traditional Methods, to creating change. I will spend the next just more than six minutes talking to you about what is an impact and what is a change. And then I will give you two non-traditional examples before I share my own non-traditional method with you. So, the title has three elements. Impact, non-traditional, and change. But what does an impact and a change really mean? My best example would be that the impact idea from Mark Zuckerberg leading to the change that you could tag me right here on uh, Facebook on this stage today. As for the non-traditional part, I think that non-traditional is individual. Young people must explore non-traditional method, parts of the title reads, and I fully agree. But as JCI members, we must not stop there. We must take that extra step and dare to act, as the JCI 2013 mission says. So, how do we define what is non-traditional? We need to know our personality type. And for that, we need the expert of Mr. Carl Jung. He has divided people into two groups based on their decision patterns. The first group will base their decision on feelings, and the second group will base their decision on logic. First, let me give you the example of uh, someone using their feelings as a decision pattern. Do you know the singer Amanda Palmer? Well, she had uh, a, let's call it, minor disagreement with her record company and went solo. Solo in this content meaning no signed contract, no income. But she loved to play music and loved to entertain, so she went touring Europe. And after each show, her little hat went crowd surfing with her words, pay what you like. And people really liked her. Her impact idea was to change the music industry. Her non-traditional method was pay what you like. The change, 1.2 million US dollars. As for the example for the logic uh, people, um, I need you to close your eyes. Now imagine that you're about to eat a wonderful dinner in darkness. Can you smell the food being served in front of you? Can you sense the people sitting next to you? Could they be naked? <laughs> you can open your eyes now. This is the idea behind the German restaurant Dunkel. They wanted to stand out in a market of many identical restaurants, all serving fancy food in even fancier surroundings. Their focus lies entirely in taste, and the food is being served by blind waiters who can easily know the room uh, around the room and no light. This was their impact idea to stand out. Their non-traditional methods kill the lights. The change? This concept is being copied all over Europe. For my own non-traditional example, well, 16 months ago, I published my first book. And with that, I wanted to share my knowledge to others in the same field of business. Only one problem. I did not dare to speak publicly, and nothing could drag me up on a stage. And that's kind of a big problem if you want to be a speaker on your topic. So I had to go out and do something that was non-traditional to me. I had to take classes 
I joined this JCI World Public Speaking Competition. I said yes to everything putting me up on that stage, even though I was scared to death. And understanding that in this room, we are all JCI members. And by that, we have quite familiar with giving speeches. But remember your first one? First time you had to open your mouth publicly? That was where I started. And that was why this was non-traditional to me. So, how do we go from impact to non-traditional methods to change? Amanda Palmer used the feelings to do things differently, and the German restaurant Dunkel used a more logic approach. Me? I had to go way beyond my comfort zone to creating change. And non-traditional is individual. But imagine what could happen if you sat down and brainstormed with a person opposite of your decision pattern. Imagine the number of impacts potentially leading to change. Imagine what will happen when you go out and explore non-traditional methods and as JCI members dare to act. I hope you will do just that. Me? I need to go out and explore something other than tattoos. <laughs> Thank you.